Whoa, this just says the moment he realized it's first degree murder. My name is Alfonso and I- Oh, hell no. Nah. Hold on, what? On April 23rd. 2022 officers from y'all watching on the tube man y'all make sure y'all like comment subscribe man if y'all watching on the twitch man y'all already know we in this motherfucker man y'all make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe on the goddamn twitch all subs are 30 30 off man you feel me so come over to the twitch if y'all not subscribed on the twitch if y'all getting ads on that motherfucker come subscribe you know what i'm saying 30 percent off you feel me you can't beat that 30 percent off in the smoke nation you did come tune in you feel me? And if y'all not on the goddamn Twitch, go over to the YouTube and, we, and you like, comment on this video. You feel me? Subscribe. Turn on post notifications so y'all can get notified every time we post a motherfucker banger on this bitch. We got a spliffy on the inside the goddamn tool of death. Let's get into the video. The moment he realizes his first degree murder. The Milwaukee Police Department in Wisconsin responded to a slew of 911 calls. One caller, Kashawn Rowley, shared that he was at his girlfriend Leah Davis's apartment and she was shot. Are you, are you hearing any gunshots? Over here, over here. Over here? Hey, come here. Lamers. Stand over there. Stand over there. Stand over there. Don't move. Officers follow Kashan to Leah's apartment, where they find an unresponsive Leah on the floor, blood coming from her head. A third officer arrives, and they apprehend Kashan to remove him from the room so they can fully attend to Leah. And everything. I never, I never. All right. I never, just take him out. Take him outside. No, 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 no. She's got a, she's got a gunshot wound to the head. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. She told me to go. I was listen. So I came over here, right? I'm literally. She listen. She only let me stand right here, mind you. Okay. Listen. Did you listen to me? Yeah. I'm listening to me. Listen. She only let me stand right here. Look, I'm finna show you. Uh -huh. She only let me stand right here, bro. Listen. She was like, oh, I'm finna. She, I said, I said, I asked her, can I come over? She said, you can come over for a little bit. I said, okay. She asked her, but, uh, but when I got over here, she, she was like, like you can't okay, come in or something like that because she wanted to get ready to go to sleep. Okay. I'm like, okay, you want to get ready to go to sleep, so I'm finna go. I literally came down here to my car. I literally came over here to my car. I got in my car. Okay, listen. I, listen. Radio. Huh? Radio. Sammy, dude, you got a gunshot wound to the head. On a black female, not stop breathing. Ten medical gunshot wound to the center of the forehead. Oh, oh, sir? No. Or CPR, I guess. Yeah, I am. Starting CPR. Listen, I swear to God, everything You're I love. You're good, buddy. Huh? You're good, buddy. Okay, look, I swear to God, everything I love. Look, I came to my car. The moment I opened my car door, I heard eight shots come from her apartment. I literally, bro, I'm thinking somebody f***ing shooting, I was shooting else somewhere, so I pull up the street. I'm like, damn, what the but I turn around because I'm like, dog, bro, that's my girl, bro. I really love this girl to death. So I'm like, okay, so I turn around, bro. Listen, I'm being on the fucking door to try to get the fuck back in the apartment because I don't have the key or nothing, bro. I need a cage car for him. <laughs> I literally just started CPR and shot to the head. I'm not conscious, not breathing. Yeah, there's gray matter. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. So listen, she tell me the moment I get by her car, I, I listen, the moment I get by, I get by my car, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, I hear eight shots, bro. I run upstairs, bro, because I'm, I listen, but her door's unlocked because she just closed the door behind me, bro. I made sure she was okay because I told her, I'm, uh, when I was here, I said, okay, I'm going to call you later and like that because I know you got work tonight. She work at Walmart on uh, East Capitol. Okay. Okay? So listen, when I got to my car, I swear to God, I heard eight shots. I go up there, bro, I look. All I do is open the door, bro. She's laying on the fucking ground, bro. We'll sort it out, buddy. Do we know how long will this happen? We just got here, and this guy uh, is the one that called. Uh, I have no idea, to be honest. Do you have any idea of info on her? No, I have none. I, we just got up here. So, right, yeah, I mean, you guys came here quicker than me, you know. Hey, there is a bullet next to her on the left side, so be careful where it is. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to get in your way here, man. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah, there's no plan back for that. Yeah. But right now, she's obviously shot. And you're the, first, the only person in the apartment, so you're just detained right now, okay? You guys not here, right? No. Like I said, you're not arrested, but you're just detained until we figure out what's going on. All right. I don't know, bro. She didn't let me in the house, bro. She didn't let me in the house at all. What happened? Listen, listen, listen. We're taking a second here to point out the irony behind his shirt in this situation. Situation. I'm gonna tell you the same thing that I told him. Listen, so me and I, listen, she had, she just had got home like 45 minutes ago, hour ago. She, I called her. She, I said, can I come see you? She, I said, at first she, I said, no. I said, okay. She, I said, I said, can I come see you? She said, 
yeah, you can come see me, but only for a little bit because I have to go to work tonight because I work. she work at Walmart East Capitol. I normally take her to work between okay. 9.30 and 9.40. I said, okay, when I got over there, when I got over here, she only let me stand in the door. She didn't allow let me go in the house or nothing like that, bro. Nothing. Like, that's my girlfriend. I've been over there multiple times. Okay, so but she happened? didn't let me go over there. I So she had said, okay, you have to leave because I'm finna get ready to go to sleep. I said, okay. I literally walked down the stairs. I came out the door. She closed the door behind me. I told her. I said, okay, I'm gonna call you later and make sure that you good and that you okay because I know you got work. And I told her to call me if you need a ride to work. Okay, this is what I do on the date. So I said, okay. I got literally got to my car door. I literally go to open my car door and I hear eight shots coming out of her apartment. Not her apartment, but the fucking house complex you know what i'm saying so then i literally i'm getting scared like i'm all i'm which hearing is shots yours? huh which car is yours red flat charger right there right here mm -hmm. it's parked the wrong way yeah it's parked the wrong way okay. lamers yep. oh there you are okay i'm trying to find an id i'm trying to look for the gun sorry sorry no no you're good you're good i'm just trying to make sure there's no gun in here 7250 they're calling it doe what, uh, what happened after that what'd you do because listen i got up in the car bro i pulled up i'm like what the f they shooting but you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't want to get shot. See, you know what I'm saying? I'm an innocent bystander. Okay. Or whatever. I don't want him to come outside or whatever the f catch may be and shoot me. Okay. So I'm like, okay, bet. So I literally, I, but I turn around and like that. I literally turn around. I get all, I pull the f back up, bro. I'm banging on the f door to get back up in there because I don't have the keys to her apartment. I cannot get in that complex. What? I'm trying to sort out what's going on right yeah. now, man. We'll come talk to you in a second. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I swear to God on everything I love. So you went back in? No, I, listen, I went back in after the shots. Right I went back in after the shots because I got I knocked on the fucking door and the neighbor opened the door for me. Okay. Okay. Well, hold on. You went back in after the shots. But you just said you were innocent bystander and you wasn't trying to get hit. So why the fuck would you go back in where the shots coming from? And I went back you upstairs. Y'all door was already unlocked. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, the door is already unlocked. I'm literally, bro, I'm, I'm literally trying to check. I'm back. Up. I'm back. What's wrong? I'm back. What's wrong? All I see is blood on the floor. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, no, it's in my car. Okay. What's your name? Keyshawn. K E S H A W N. Rousey. Does that look like a bullet hole in the wall right in front of you? Right there. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's what that is. It looks like you got some brain matter over here. Yeah, it came in through here. See some brain matters on her lap. Look. Is that one right there, or not? That's probably. Looks like she might have been shot twice. Unless she held up her arm in front of her. Ah, uh, here's the exit wound. Okay. Brain matter. Five wounds total. One, two. One in the other arm, and then the two in the head. And look at there's stuff all over here, all up here. Did you look through the window? Bro, I'm trying to figure out, listen, the first thing I do is I call her, I call her friend. I'm like, bro, you don't know, I said, I don't know what the fuck just happened. She said, what? I said, bro, I don't know what just happened, bro, I just heard eight shots come from our apartment. She said, wait, 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 wait. She said, wait, 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 what's going on, bro? I said, bro, I just heard eight shots come out of her apartment, bro. She said, wait, 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 I call her granny, bro. I told her granny, I heard eight shots come out of her apartment. She her granny, her granny like, what you mean, her eight shots come out of her apartment? I said, bro, I'm literally in the fucking house right now, bro. Rousey, R O W S E Y. Just a question I'm gonna ask you. Any warrants? Something I've been worried about? No, I don't. Not a probation parole. No, I don't. Okay, all right. Slide in real quick. The window here gets you cool. Thomas, you said, or Davis? Davis, D A V I S. I don't, I don't know her middle name. Okay, she lives here. Yes. All right, slide. Slide in real quick. Okay, wait. Can you crack it though? Can you keep it? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Can I get the key so I can get the air conditioning? Okay, I'm not finna do nothing, bro. Can you just? I'm off cooperating. Can you just leave it open so I can literally just see her? Squad number on this. Listen, I swear to God, Jasmine, Jasmine, on everything I love, bro. Listen, she said I could come over for a little bit. I came over here for literally five minutes, bro. She didn't let me in the door, bro. She didn't let me in the door. Me the door. Me the door. The door. I literally listen. When she told me to leave, I left. I literally got by my car door and I heard some shots coming from her apartment, bro. Keyshawn, just relax. It's, it's, that boy kept like that, bro. He helped turn the air conditioning stuff to do a job, right? <laughs> Listen, I just want to breathe, bro. That's yeah, it. no, I'll do the door. I just want to, yeah, I just want to breathe, bro. I got you. Then our granny keep asking me, did you do it? No, I didn't do that shit. I love that girl. And they found five total bullet holes. There's, yeah, there's gray matter on her pants, on the window, on the window seal. Damn. There's a bullet fragment on her left, on her right side over here. And then there's, uh, there's, look like a strike mark in the corner. You can see it from here. So far, and then once they move out of the way, I'll be able to keep looking. Seven, seven, seven holes. Seven? Yep, seven holes. Seven? Yep, seven holes. Chest, one right arm, two in the head, two in the back. Her, her phone's ringing, is that anything you? 
Uh, yeah, just leave it. Hey, yeah, is that car a plate register you, man? Yeah, that's, not, that's my car. Hey, you see anybody coming out of that place? No, I didn't know, but I left. I pulled off. Okay, listen. I pulled off, bro. I pulled off. Okay. I got scared because there was shots. I pulled off. I came back. So when you came out, when you came out of here, you didn't see anybody go in? No, I didn't. But listen, she was already at home when I got here. I know, but you said you left because she didn't want to. Yeah, but she didn't let me in the door. I don't know if somebody was in there or not. Okay. She didn't let me in the house, sir. What the shot up? How that shit in the car? What are you talking about? You called me and said that shot up. No, I did. I said I heard eight shots. I said I heard eight shots come out of her apartment. I heard eight shots from in there. I heard bang, 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 bang. Come on, cooperate with me. I am cooperating, bro. I know so He did that shit. He did that shit. Bro, he just tried to sit right there to do all that up. Come on, gang. Why you do it like, bro, you did that to your girl, gang. She must have been fucking somebody else. She was cheating on bro's son. That's son. Yes, I know the whole neighborhood ain't got to know my business, bro. But I'm just saying, bro. I'm trying to tell because everybody trying to look at me like I did. That's no, I told you. Look, I told you straight up. You're not arrested. You're detained right now, right? Okay, and I understand that. We get called here. Someone shot, right? Yes, and I oh, called hold you. On, hold on. Hold on. Breathe, buddy. You keep yelling over me because I'm on your side. All right. I told you straight up, you're not arrested. You're detained. I just obviously got to figure out what's going on. Okay. You're in the apartment. She's shot. I'm sorry, not everything. You're not arrested. Your story checks out. Just let everything happen, uh, happen for a second. All right. Detectives are gonna come. Everybody's gonna talk to you. Things will be cool. Bro, all right. I'm, okay, bro. Just I'm be smooth with me. Bro. Okay. Oh, she was shot here. Any casings or anything here? There's a bullet fragment over next to her. I saw that. Yeah, and there's a there's a strike there's a strike to the wall. You see it right here? Oh yeah. Right there, and then it hits there. But there's brain matter on the window over here, right over here, and it's in her lap, and she was up in the corner. So I'm curious. I don't think this happened here. I think you don't think it happened here. Oh, there's no, of course. She got shot five times. She got shot five times. There's seven total holes. Yeah. Yeah. He said uh, he heard eight gunshots. Yeah. There's no one else in here. This was unlocked. Hey, bro, hey, bro, I'm, not, on, I'm not, bro, I'm not, bro, can I just breathe? I'm breathing, bro. No, but you're trying to talk to them. No, I'm not, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm, bro I'm just letting you know, bro. I got alibis, bro. Great, we're not just with I you, bro. I've been with you all day, bro. I just dropped you off over your empty time, and I mean, over there by the court, bro, so you can play with Trey on him. I was just was with you, bro. This will be your last one. I'm going to have to close the door, bro. Okay. Anything on the home? He trying to see what I'm saying? He trying to do all that. He trying to, some, that nigga did that shit. He fucked up. Why he did that to his girl, though? That's fucked up, gang. The way he trying to carry his story and do all that over talkingly, bro. And, bro. Yeah, I don't know, bro. There's nothing else in there. He had three callers, and he's one of them. Not, no, not one casing on here. His quick story was he had come over here. This officer relays his knowledge of the situation to who appears to be an investigative officer. Simultaneously, Kashan again recounts his story to an officer, but added small additional bits of information. Bro. What's up? Now I'm talking to you. Listen. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to Y'all asking me how I got in the apartment and everything. When I first got here, mm -hmm. her neighbor was opening the door. Mm -hmm. I came in the door. Mm -hmm. I knocked on her door. She opened it. She would not let me in, sir. She told you to come over, though, right? Yeah, she said I okay. can come over while we was on the phone. Me and her literally had a conversation. We literally was on the phone. Mm -hmm. so that's your girlfriend? That was my ex-girlfriend, but we getting back together. Okay. Yeah, we was getting back together. How long were you guys together on off. We well, listen, we've been together for a year and a half. We just we just broke up like three weeks ago, but me and her been talking about getting back together and like that and she he said we getting back shit. together. She just needed time to, you know what I'm saying, get through her feelings and stuff like that. Right. I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm literally sitting here being you know what I'm saying? I'm literally sitting here being okay with all that shit because I understand. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got feelings, bro. Kashan recounts his story from here, reiterating that he was at the apartment. Then as he was getting into his car to leave, he heard eight gunshots, sped off in fear, but then returned, allegedly concerned about Leah's safety. He shares in greater detail the moment of his return to her apartment. I knocked on her door again. I'm like, Leah, 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 Leah. I checked the door to see if it's unlocked. The door's unlocked. I open the door. All I see in her is on the floor dead. I literally drop down to my DJ. knees, bro. The first person I call is her motherfucking friend. I call her right there mm -hmm. i call her friend i tell her i'm like bro i just heard eight shots come out her apartment complex i'm crying like a motherfucker, bro bro she's like hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on she just left me and shit like that bro i said fam i just heard eight shots come out her apartment complex so then she asked said hold on i'm gonna call you back i called her granny her granny said 
what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? I'm telling her granny, bro, like, I, bro, I just heard A-Shots come out your granddaddy complex, your granddaughter complex, and shit like that. I'm literally doing all that shit, right? All I know is, bro, all I know is, bro, I literally, bro, I swear to God on my soul, I'm like, bro, who the fuck is this? She asked me, did I do it? I said, I did not do it. I said, I didn't do it. I said, I don't know, bro. I said, she didn't let me in the house. Did you see somebody run out? I didn't, I was, go I sped I down the street. Right. Car. I right. sped down the street, bro. I didn't see I'm nobody running in and out. When you heard the shots fired out here, you didn't see anybody run out the apartment? No, I didn't. I drove off. Do you think someone was in there? Bro, I don't know. She didn't let me through the door. Okay. All right, man. He was in the apartment when we got here. He was in the apartment? Yeah. This I can't listen. I had the door. I had the door. I had the door. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to. Play. I know you gave I got story, the black but thing, but I got the black thing held open so I can get back into the uh, house because I don't have a key to get back in. I hear you, buddy. Just take a seat. You guys got the keys for 541? Yeah, that's so my you guys, car. Yeah, what do you mean? The guy, the probably the possible suspect, is sitting in the back of it. It's not running. And he's yelling, he's hot, so I want to get the AC on there so I can shut the door on him. In this moment, a bystander speaks to an officer about getting information for Leah's grandmother, who is apparently on scene. Okay, well, I can't really say anything because I don't know anything other than there's somebody that's shot. Can't release any information right now. If, that, if that's her grandma, is her mom around? Okay, we'll have her sit there. I'll come talk to her in a minute, okay? The bystander implies that Leah's mother is deceased, and social media post made by Leah herself supports this claim. Leah's grandmother has now not just lost her daughter in recent years, but now her granddaughter, too. Do we have an officer Damn. available? Uh, the grandmother is down on the east end of Lisbon, probably be the next of him. That's possibly him right there. That's, well, that's him, but that's possibly suspect. He's talking very fast, like he's nervous. Extremely fast. That's, uh, the story doesn't make a lot of sense. It's kind of a clue. Is there a gun up there? There's no gun, there's no casings. And get this guy, this fucking guy right here. But he's on the wrong side of the tape. Yeah, the same side for now. Okay. Okay. Did you see, hear anything? You're right next door. I'll tell you what, I'll let a detective know to come over and talk to you in private. While an on-camera interview does not happen with this individual, officers do question the downstairs neighbor about the incident. We heard a loud bam bam. I didn't think it was a gunshot. But I just thought he was banging on the door some more. Like, I thought he kicked it now instead of hitting oh, me, but then he ran off. Yeah. Could you make out what he was saying? He was like saying, let me in. She was saying, go or leave or something. Okay. Just like that. I just moved in like three months ago. Okay. And they argued all the time. Ten minutes later, he come. The car pulls back up. But he has someone with him, a female. I hear a female voice. And they're both like, she dead. So I'm like, oh, no, nah, he killed her. The female that this witness mentions is never explained, nor are we aware of any charges pressed against a second individual for this case. Rumors shared on social media detail that Kashan may have cheated on Leah, and that action prompted the breakup, but those claims are unsubstantiated. Considering this witness was primarily listening through her Damn. doorway, it is possible she was hearing Kashan's panicked voice as he uses falsetto and reaches a considerably higher pitch. And then he knocked on my door, and I opened it, and he said, did y'all hear anything? Did anything happen? And I was like, all I saw was a black charger. And he said, that's my car. He was like, I came, and she wouldn't let me in. She told me to leave. I left. He was like, so, he said, so I thought somebody in here did it. I said, no, you didn't think nobody in here did it. So that's why I called the police. Okay. Because I feel, I see he's trying to flip it. I just closed my door. Did you, had you called the police prior to him knocking on your door? Yeah. Okay, you're Yeah, but I'm just saying. Okay. In the video we obtained, Kashan never implies that a neighbor might be responsible, nor did he mention talking to the downstairs neighbor after supposedly discovering Leah's body. Damn. That's what I'm saying. It's just tight. You see that? Look at that kid, bro. In cups. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Bro, yeah. I'm right? I didn't do that shit, my nigga. Okay, nobody's... Nice. Okay. You're gonna have me send in the cell and shit, bro? No. Don't worry about it. Okay. Right now, we're gonna talk to you about what, what, okay, you, saw, bro. what you saw. Okay, okay bro. Okay. 
According to news reports, investigators found more details surrounding the 911 calls. The first call revealed further suspicion of Kashan's actions. Allegedly, before Kashan called 911, he called a friend and shared that Leah had been shot at her apartment. Kashan told officers this information on scene. However, his friend revealed Kashan left out the bit of information where he allegedly admitted to shooting Leah, which is what prompted the friend to make the first 911 call. Oh, investigators shit. interviewed others who were close to Kashan and Leah and found that Kashan was apparently very possessive of her. The pair held a very rocky relationship, as alluded by Kashan himself on scene. Other close friends shared that Kashan had threatened to kill Leah last fall, and he allegedly purchased a gun in order to do so. News reports indicated Leah had eight gunshot wounds in total, matching Kashan's yeah. story that he heard eight gunshots. Sadly, investigations also discovered that Kashan and Leah knew of each other since third grade. After his arrest, Kashan was charged with first-degree murder, with modifiers for using a dangerous weapon and for domestic abuse. This is the only criminal charge we could find in Kashan's records. Oh, Roughly two weeks later, he entered a plea of not guilty. The court set a $250,000 cash bond that Kashan never posted. In February of 2023, almost eight months after Leah's killing, a jury unanimously found Kashan guilty at trial. In March, he was sentenced to life in prison, confining Ooh. him for at least 35 years after Leah's death until April of 2057, when Ooh. he will be 55 years old. Violations during his prison sentence can extend his total stay by up to 40 days for each infraction. He may petition for extended supervised release after his prison sentence is complete. What's going on, guys? Today we have a sad tragic case out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 19-year-old woman loses her life at the hands of her ex-boyfriend. Most cops can see that this guy is guilty. As soon as they see this guy, he says he called the police. Yeah, right okay, he probably did. What does he do? He raises his hands and says, oh, I didn't do anything. I oh, didn't me. do anything. That's a big sign right there. The second thing he did is he said eight shots were hurt. Let me tell you something. I've been shot at before. One thing I'm not doing is I'm ain't not counting shots. Man, I'm trying what? To live. I'm trying to get up did, out of there. to muster up some fake tears to see if anybody's buying this. You know, those tears were so fake. That's another story, okay? He tries to sit there and talk, talk, talk. And the Man, cops are going to let him talk because what do these criminals do? They incriminate themselves, you know, because they're not too smart. So the cop did the right thing by taking him to the squad car, let him keep talking. And what does he say? First, in the beginning, he says it's his girlfriend. Then he says it's his, his ex-girlfriend. Ex we know now it was his ex-girlfriend. I believe he came over there, in my opinion, uninvited, right? And then the conversation probably went left. He didn't like where it was going. So what does he do? He takes out a gun and ends this young lady's life because you can't take no for an answer. Right. Okay. And what this guy get? He got life, right? And after 35 years, he can petition. He's eligible to petition for extended supervision. So possibly could be on the street one day. It's ridiculous, man. You know, these domestics, man, can end so bad. So bad. So you have to pay attention to these red flags. Get a lot of times you see him. All right, but get your ball here and hands on my shit, bro. All right.